All right, if you've ever been wanting to sell video games, I'm gonna take you through the one console that you should start on. And before we get into the video today, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, but also hit that thumbs up on here because it'll really help me out. All right, you may have guessed it from the title of the video, but the console that you should be selling if you're getting into video games is the Nintendo Wii. Now there are a few reasons why you should be getting into this console. The first reason why you should start with the Wii is it's a pretty inexpensive console to get into. You can find a bundle locally for probably about $20, $25 on Facebook Marketplace or even at your thrift store. Also, there is a lot of demand still for the console. A lot of families use this as an entry-level system for kids to play games. It's a nice one for them to learn on. Uh, a lot of really easy games for the family to play. And with that, that means there's a lot of demand out there for the most popular games for families. Now when you're getting in video games, you want to make sure you get a console to be able to test everything on. So for the Wii, since it's so inexpensive, it's a really easy system to get into. When you're buying a test console, you're going to want to make sure you get the following items. You're going to want to get the console itself. You're going to want to make sure that you're getting the Wiimote and the Nunchuck. You're going to want the power cord. You're going to want the AV cord. And you're going to want the sensor bar. Now by having all of those and as long as they're all functioning, you're going to have a console to test games on, test Wiimotes on, uh, just test even new consoles that you come in. You won't even need new AV cores because you're going to already have them and you've tested out already. And this will make it a lot easier to resell the games because you're going to have a, the console there to be able to test games as they come in in case you're worried about any of them playing or not. Or even the accessories if they're able to play or not. Alright, let's get to what you should be looking at to sell from the Wii. And I break it down into three categories. The console itself, the accessories, and the games. Let's talk about the console first. The great part is there's a lot of demand for just the console only or also for the console bundle. Now let's talk about the different versions of consoles. There's a base version, there's a GameCube compatible version, and then you're gonna find a lot of different colored versions. There's gonna be like black, you're gonna find a blue, you're gonna find a limited edition red, so there's a lot of different versions out there that you're going to be able to buy and sell. And for all of those, the pricing will vary depending on uh, which version that you're having and how you're selling and bundling it. Now the great part about all of these is that there's a lot of demand for each of them and you should be able to move them pretty easy. I sell a lot of replacement consoles just by itself because a lot of people already have the cords and maybe the disc reader is not working on there. So I sell a lot of those pretty quickly in my store. You can also sell a whole console bundle to families that are looking to just start out on a gaming system. The next thing we want to talk about is accessories. There are a lot of accessories for the Wii and I'm going to highlight the ones that you should be focusing on. The first accessory that we want to talk about is the Wiimote. This is the main one that you want to be looking out for when you are out there because this is what is controlling your system. Now there are many variations of the Wiimote. There's a regular version. There's a Motion Plus version. There's a lot of them with different color variations. And there are special edition ones that have Mario, Luigi, Toad, Peach, Yoshi. And those ones go for more money than the other ones. For myself, when I sell Wiimotes, I like to bundle them in pairs. The benefit to this is that you save on shipping because you're able to put this under first class. And when you sell them, you don't necessarily need to have the nunchuck accessory with it. A lot of people are just looking for the Wiimote. So you can look at the different combinations that work best for you and uh, based on the product that you are finding out in the field. The next item that we're going to talk about is the Motion Plus adapter. You'll sometimes find these attached to the end of the Wiimotes. So people are buying these adapters because they had the original Wiimotes and they want to upgrade it to use special games. I believe Wii Sports Resort requires this adapter for them to be able to play it. Otherwise, they have to upgrade and buy a new Wiimote that has the Motion Plus control inside of it. Now, I like to bundle the adapters in pairs because a lot of people are playing together. Also, it helps you get your ASP up and it doesn't jack up your shipping costs that much because they're super light. The next accessory that I want to talk about is the racing wheel. You're going to find these out in the wild all the time. You're going to get these in bundles. I would only sell them if you get them in a bundle of something else. I would not be looking to buy it by itself. Now it goes great when you find Mario Kart and it's just a fun way to be able to play the game. So I like to pair Mario Kart with two of the racing wheels. Another accessory that you're going to want to look for is the Wii Fit board. You're going to want to sell this with Wii Fit or Wii Fit Plus. 
And you also want to make sure that you check the timing on when you are selling these because especially at the beginning of the year when it's the health craze, you're going to sell them a lot higher than you are during the mid-year. So you're most likely going to find them in a bundle. So you are going to be able to move them, but just be aware that depending on the time of the year, it's going to be better for you. The last accessories I want to highlight are Rock Band and Guitar Hero, the guitars or the drum sets. These sets go for really good money on the Wii. You're going to be able to sell the guitars by itself. You're going to be able to sell the drum sets by itself. You can bundle them all together. You can bundle them with the game as well. It's just a lot of different ways that you can make money on these items. And the one thing I want to highlight for all these accessories are you're going to want to make sure that you test these before you put them all up for sale. A lot of these could be broken, not working, especially when it comes to guitars or the drums. So you want to make sure that you test them out before you put them up, especially if you are new to selling these products. All right, let's get into one of the most fun parts of selling the Wii is the games itself. Now, the great part about the Wii is there are a lot of games out there that will always sell well for you, and you're going to find them all the time. The first two that I want to highlight are Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. These are like flagship games for the Wii. These are the ones that people you see are, are bowling in their, in their living room, or playing tennis, playing baseball. These are the ones that families are getting the system for for their little kids. The best thing about these games are that they sell all year round, whether it's individually or as a console bundle. The next game I talked about a little bit earlier, which is Mario Kart. Whenever you see that, I consider it automatic buy. With most of these games I'm highlighting here, anything that you see for $5 or less, I would make sure you're grabbing it. Now with Mario Kart, as I said before, you want to make sure you pair it with a wheel if you have it available, otherwise you could sell it by itself. You could also put it in a console bundle with the wheel and you're going to get a really nice sale on that. So anything with Mario on the Wii pretty much sells, so if you see them on the console, make sure you check that item. The next one I highlight is Mario Galaxy 2. This one sells usually really well for me. Um, there's also Mario Galaxy 1 that will sell well, uh, but 2 is always going to be a higher price than 1. Another Mario you want to look for is New Super Mario Brothers. It's usually in a red case, sometimes you'll find it in a white case. You also want to keep an eye out for Super Smash Brothers for the Wii. Uh, this won't go up and down in price, but is a pretty consistent seller. If you price it right, it's going to move pretty quickly for you. Another Nintendo staple is Donkey Kong, so you want to make sure you look for Donkey Kong Country Returns. This one is also going to be a bread and butter item for the Wii. It's always going to be selling for you. So if you find it for under $5, I would always grab it. Now, a little secret bundle that I like to sell for the Wii is Just Dance games. I find a lot of those out there for real cheap, maybe $1 or $2, and a lot of people are passing them up, or you're getting them in a bundle that you're buying on Facebook or OfferUp. Now, what I'll do is I'll bundle them up in two or three or four game lots and sell them that way. That way, if I'm selling like three of them, it's usually around like $27 to $30. And when you bundle up with three games, it's still under first class shipping, which is going to keep it nice and cheap for you and give you a nice profit margin. Another series of games that you're going to look out for is Zelda, right? That is a staple for any Nintendo system. There are two of them out there that you're going to be looking for. There's Twilight Princess, which is usually going to be like a $15 to $20 game, but you're also going to find out there Skyward Sword, which is a lot of time like a $40 to $50 game for you. Now with all these games, make sure you scan them when you find them because market prices do fluctuate and you want to make sure that you know what they are when you're purchasing them at that time. Another category of games I want to highlight here are mature games, right? These are the ones that are rated M for the Wii. Now since the Wii is generally a family console, mature games are pretty rare on them. So if you do find one with the M rating, I would always check to see what those prices are at that time because a lot of them go for some really good money. One recently that I sold was Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. That's like a $30 game most of the time. So always just double check them when you find them. Not all of them are home runs, but a lot of them will still go for good money because not many people bought mature games. They were buying it for kids, so there's collectors out there that are looking for these. And lastly, I want to highlight a game that I've sold quite a few times. It's Tetris Party Deluxe. I think it's the only Tetris game on the Wii. And for me, it usually goes for about $30. There you go. There's my beginner's guide on how to resell the Wii. You could do this on multiple platforms, eBay, Mercari, Amazon, if you have access to that as well. The great thing about the Wii is that there's abundance of product out there and there's abundance of buyers as well. So you're always going to have a market for it and you can make it a bread and butter item in your store.
Now, thank you for joining me. If you like videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Also, hit a thumbs up on there. And if you want me to put out more of these, put a comment below of what type of system or categories or whatnot that you want me to cover. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.